I'm here on Columbia's campus where New York police cleared an administrative building that had been taken over by pro-Palestinian demonstrators earlier Tuesday. Hundreds of police, many of them in riot gear, arrived on campus shortly before 9 p.m. They accessed the building through a second story window, climbing on a ladder truck. Inside, police said there were about 30 or 40 protesters who were taken into custody. Dozens more have been arrested for protesting the police response. Police said they also cleared an encampment which had been set up by students and inspired a wave of demonstrations across the country. No one has been injured, according to a police spokesperson. The school said that they were forced to call in police because the occupation had put students at risk. Columbia University president said she had asked police to remain on campus through graduation next month. Uh, yeah, I was having a beer watching the next year. <laughs> I was having dinner with my wife. You guys gotta move, make a hole, make a hole, please. Move. Excuse me, you gotta move.
Hamilton Hall is now secure. There is no one else left in the building. The quad is now empty. The only thing that's left is the tents and their property, and that will all be cleared out by the school. Yeah, I, I just spoke to Anthony. I have no reported injuries. Right? No reported injuries. Uh, there was no use of tear gas. The NYPD uh, did not use tear gas. Okay, but we're still like monitoring different locations throughout the city. You know,